Greenpeace, like most modern environmental organizations, is full of do-as-I-say, not-as-I-do virtue signaling activists. And none more than Greenpeace Canada's Mike Hudema. A quick stand of Hudema's social media feed and you will see his jet fuel burning, high carbon lifestyle that has taken him to remote and exotic destinations like Hawaii. Or how about Iceland? Or perhaps Barcelona, Spain? It is strange how often these supposed climate change campaigners seem to love to burn an awful lot of jet fuel. Why is it that none of them seem to be able to practice what they preach? But like all climate campaigners, Hudema's life of high carbon luxury had to be earned. Plenty of student activism during his days at university, but he also authored a book back in 2004. The book is titled, if you can believe it, An Action a Day Keeps Global Capitalism Away. And the book has been described as, quote, 52 tried and tested actions, one for every week, an action guide for the 21st century, unquote. But look a little closer at one of the Amazon.ca reviews of his book with five stars, and look right there who wrote it. M. Hudema. So did Mike Hudema really write a glowing review of his own book and think that nobody would notice? I mean, how big does one's ego have to be that you would write such a glowing review of yourself? Allow me to read from it. Quote, I just read a copy of An Action a Day and was absolutely floored. The content is highly engaging, funny at times, and extremely useful. As a lifelong activist, I am always looking for new ways to build community and present issues, and Hudema's guide does just that. It is insightful and designed both as an aid and to prevent activist burnout and can be used by anyone from a long-term activist to an eager beginner." Unquote. Look, it's entirely possible that M. Hudema is a brother, father, or some kind of rel relative to Mike. But you heard me read how the author of the review was a, quote, lifelong activist, so it sounds like Mike Hudema to me. Kind of unreal, but also kind of pathetic, don't you think? But what's more bizarre is he didn't even bother to make a fake account with a fake name to write the glowing review, instead posted it under his own name. But what's most frustrating about someone like Hudema isn't the fake reviews of his own book, nor his high carbon lifestyle, or even his activism. It's the fact he is a coward. For years now, my friend and oil sands champion Cody Battersell has been challenging Hudema to a debate on the oil sands and pipelines. But Hudema consistently ignores or even avoids Cody at all costs. Heck, even Rob Breckenridge, a radio host in Alberta, recently offered to host the debate on his show with Cody. But the coward, Mike Hudema, would prefer to attack Albertan and Canadian families from 39,000 feet than engage and debate someone like Cody. But would you expect anything else from someone so vain that they write reviews of their own book pretending to be someone else? For The Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Thanks for watching. You know, exposing the hypocrisy of climate change campaigners like Jane Fonda or Mike Kudema or David Suzuki is what we do here at The Rebel. And we're going to bring you the truth about these people and their hypocrisy.